everyone, thanks for joining me here today. My name is Irene and in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my newest handbag purchase from Burberry right over here. So if you're interested to see what is inside this beautiful bag, then let's get straight into this video. I'm going to just get straight into this video unboxing. I expect this to be a very short video. This is my first handbag ever from Burberry and I've been eyeing this item for months now, since the spring. I've tried it on many times and I finally bit the bullet yesterday and decided to buy it. So it comes in this lovely brown box with a ribbon and I'll just slide that off. And I'm just gonna lift up this box here. They come with a really nice little box here. Inside, it just looks like this. I think this must be my receipt. And here is the bag that's inside. It's got a lovely, it's almost like a pistachio green dust bag. It's the same color as the interior of the box. All right. If you have any guesses as to what I got from Burberry, leave it in the comment section down below before you watch this part. Here we go. It is this beautiful classic Burberry. They call it the penny bag, but when I was looking at it a few months before, this used to be called the Hampshire bag, so I'll leave that popped up somewhere. They just recently did a revamp on the Hampshire bag. Now it's called the penny bag. A few modifications that I've noticed since I've tried it on a few times before, before they made the adjustments. The biggest two things is the fact that this newer version that they just came out with is now in calfskin that's smooth. As you can see, it's smooth calfskin all around. The bottom has no feet. The next thing that I noticed is that this flap used to come down lower on the Hampshire version. So then you would see less of the Burberry checkered pattern. Now they have shortened it so you can see more of it. Also, the last thing is that in the Hampshire version, they used to have this pattern in like some sort of textile cloth, cottony type of material, whereas now it's a wipeable material where if you spill something, it's not gonna stain anything. You just wipe it off clean with a clean towel and you're good to go. So I loved the new modifications that they made. This is a crossbody bag. So if I want to close it up, it's got a magnetic closure and a very nice thin leather crossbody strap that is adjustable to a lot of lengths. So there's holes from here all the way to here. So there's holes that goes throughout so you can adjust it to quite long or quite short depending on what your personal preference is. One thing that really drew me to this bag besides the fact that it has the very classic look that won't go out of style is that it is very reasonably priced. It is coming in at $13.50. It's made entirely out of leather except for this part where it is that print for the Burberry checkered but otherwise it is all calfskin even in the interior and it's just really really well designed in the sense that it's very easy to use. I wanted a small mini crossbody bag that is very casual that I can just kind of wear around whenever and this is what I was missing from my collection. Casual, easy to use, easy to dress down whenever I'm going out. Like sometimes I don't want to be carrying a Chanel around. I just love the leather and their stitching is so nicely done and it's just beautiful. I love the interior. It has one flap right here, one main compartment, and then another compartment here in the back. And then again, I think these straps here are actually detachable as you can see that. So you can even remove the straps and carry it as a clutch. But really, I think that this was such a neat little addition to my handbag collection and I love that it is so well priced. I haven't really looked much at Burberry when it comes to handbags. Usually you don't think of Burberry first. With the recent <laughs> increases in prices in fashion houses like Chanel and Louis Vuitton, I really Really have been trying to be a little bit more cognizant of my spending. Is it worth it to spend that much on a bag? Chanel has kind of been a brand that I loved, but I don't think I'm going to be buying anything from them, at least brand new from the boutique for a long time. I'm looking at places like Burberry, for instance, where their quality is really, really nice. Honestly, I don't think that you should sleep on brands like Burberry. I don't think the resale value is going to be the most amazing.
amazing with this bag but again it is a style that doesn't really age so I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this bag and for the price that I got it for I'm not mad about it <laughs> to give you guys an idea of what this bag looks like on my body I'm just gonna show it to you right now so if I wear it cross body it just looks like this and it's so carefree so easy to use and it fits a decent amount let me know what you guys think about this bag thank you guys so much for joining me here today on such a quick little unboxing video i hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for a full review of what's in my bag and all that sort of thing on this burberry bag if you're ever interested but anyways thank you guys so much for joining me here today and if you enjoyed the video please remember to comment like and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye